guys, I'm back, and um, today we're gonna do Blue and Pidgeot's Syncrid, because, um, yeah, the especially for the event, this might be really helpful if you have 3 out of 5 Pidgeot. If, you, if you're like me and you don't, this is pointless, but I'm gonna do it anyways for you guys. So, um, I think a lot of us were assuming, I mean, okay, Syncrid is really good, and because he really does a lot of good damage with Hurricane, there isn't too many multipliers he has on his grid, but... We're gonna go into it anyways. I'm sorry for that. So the first thing you want to pick up is Brutal Clarity. This, the more, the, use Axie's Rays, the more powers it moves. 30% boost. Very good. Um, especially if you pair this up with Sabrina or Lily. Um, it, it becomes a very powerful. The next, and the only other multiplayer you're gonna want to pick up is Harry 5. This is 50% chance. Um, 50% a 50% boost when the target is flinching. Which is a bit hard to pull off. Um... But, you know, so we're going to pick it up anyways. We're going to um, dodge that air, that air, that air slash, because I believe this is cheaper, right? Um, let's just, let's, let's just check. So we're at 33, 25, 27, yeah, so uh, this, is, this is cheaper. Um, then you're going to want the Hurricane Move Gauge Refresh. Now, I would advise not going for this Accuracy buff, because um, you're going to be pairing Pidgeot with someone who can already raise Accuracy. That seems pointless. Likewise, this pinpoint entry one, not super useful because I'm pairing Pidgeot up with someone who already raises accuracy. Um, the next thing you're going to want to pick up, um, honestly, okay, okay, for real, this is where, the, this is where you get, get a bit, oh wait, let's, um, if you want to be a bit cheaper, you can pick up this defense node, so you can get 16, and then you can, if you want, you can pick up air slash aggravation, and smelly later um which i guess you could do but then what oh no you can't wait what 16 oh that's 17 haha <laughs> i lied so if you want picture to be able to flinch by himself you can do something like this um and pick up aggravation and then the air slash and hp um a buff but if you don't want to um you can actually pick up both of these and then still have two to pick up a speed node, um, which honestly I think I would recommend a bit more, um, just because it gives Pidgeot at least a way to max out his own accuracy. If something, if if you need a, a team with him where you don't, where you can't bring Lily or Sabrina or something like that, um, but yeah, so that's the first grid. This um. As for a team with him, um, I would I would say Sabrina is better than Lily in this case, just because Sabrina can um get him get him to max crit more reliably than well Lily can't get him to crit at all, but um by himself you're you're running the risk if you don't run Sabrina and instead you run Lily you run the risk of not getting max crit even though you have two. MP refresh threes on Smelly Later, you still run the risk of not getting Pidgeot to max grip. So I would say Sabrina, and then a Flincher. Um, you know, I would, as much as I would say someone like Ace Rolla or Nanu, I can see Volkner actually being decent here. As Volkner, let, let's check out Volkner's grid for a minute. So obviously, this is very heavy on, um, you having these units at 3 out of 5, but, you know, we're going best case scenario here. So, with Volkner, you actually have, um, th so, Thunderfang, which has a 50% chance to flinch, so, 2 gauge move, very small chance, it's 10%, plus Aggravation, which is another 40%, so it's like, what, a 50% chance, or 51% chance or something to flinch with Thunderfang, um, and unlike... And, um, you also have something like, um, Turbo Charger, there it is, that increases move gauge to help Pidgeot spam Hurricanes faster, which is always very helpful. If you don't have Volkner, um, Nanu works, Acerola works, I feel like there are some Eggmons who can also do it, but they're slipping my mind at the moment. So, yeah, that's the first grid. Um, I don't think his Hurricane does any, his World Swallowing Hurricane does anything, so, um, wait, let's change this to 3 out of 5. Um, so yeah, um, the second grid you can do if you want, which, please don't, but 
I always do it just in case, is the sync nuke build, which, I mean, like, you might as well pick up it, um, which, I mean, you could do, but why would you do it? So, I mean, 6, 12, so, I mean, you can, you can honestly just do something like this, um, or something, like, this works, this isn't that bad, honestly, um, you just lose the 50% on Harry 5 if you don't have a reliable flincher, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, doesn't Alteria also flinch with Twister? So, I mean, you have options, um, but if you want to run a sync nuke type thing, this also works, and, um, oh, as for lucky skills, I think Critical Strike 2 is the only thing you're going to go with, if you have super duper effective, I guess that also works, especially for this time trial event where it's very rough. If you're a free to play player, it's very rough because I don't have Nate. Um, I'm not summoning on Nate, and I don't have blue three. Even though blue has been like one of the, if not the first unit to ever have a banner in in this game when it was in beta, I actually didn't summon on blue, but all the way back then. So my blue right now is at one out of five. So for me, um, if you saw the last video, I did not use blue to get the medal. And if you did see, if you did not see the last video, I would actually recommend going to watch it, um, just because I talk about, or at least in the comments, because I don't usually speak in many videos. So if you go back to the to yesterday's video, I talk about in the comments, go to the pinned comment, and I talk about the trajectory of Pokemon Masters, essentially, and how for us free to play players, how the future looks like, just based off this timed event and where we can expect DNA to go. So, um, yeah, thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I would appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe, because we're almost to 1,000 subscribers, and that's a really big milestone, guys. So I would appreciate it if you do that. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>